Hello, dear friends. This is you on Humphreys here. I, I'm here to share with you a, a brief message that I've entitled, uh, The Best Way is His Way. And that means the best way is the way of the Lord. And I'd love for you, to, as I would endeavor myself, to walk in His way. And it's important that we do that as we strive to serve the Lord. Over in Psalm 143, it says this, it says, uh, Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, and cause me to know that uh, thou art with me. Deliver me from my enemies. Maybe you have some enemies. And if you do, just go to the Lord. Don't go to others. Talk about them. Just go to the Lord and pray for them. Pray for them and ask, ask him to help you to care for them and uh, not hold grudges. And then he says that it's important that we learn to, uh, to trust the Lord, to trust the, the Lord God. And, to, and uh, then he says, teach me your will, O God. This is something that's important for you, is for you to learn to know the will of God for, for you. And it's something that he wants to reveal to you. And it won't be always something that will move the mountain, but sometimes uh, it'll just be something very simple and practical. But it's, it's uh, done in the will of God. It'll be done in a way that gives peace. And you'll, be, uh, you'll feel fine. You'll want to do even more as you walk with him by faith. And so seek his will and his way. Teach, him, teach me, O Lord, thy will. His will is perfect. There is no, no mistake. There is no error. There is no evil in the will of God. He is perfect. It's good. It's right. It's holy. And he's calling you to walk with him and know the joyful sound. Yes, you can walk among enemies and never be touched because God is holding you in his hand. And so he says to do this, for his spirit is good. The Holy Spirit is good indeed, and he dwells in you, dear Christian, and he walks with you and talks with you. And one day, one day, you're going to be blessed forever when you walk in his presence. And so we see then the importance of God's mercy. Oh, hallelujah. I like that. that teach me to do thy will, O oh God. His will is always right, and it's always built on love, for God is love. Or in First John, in, in the uh, first chapter of John, it says, If we walk in the light, as he is in the light, the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sin. All sin, of all kinds, it's all under the blood, dear Christian. And you're free. You don't have any sin against you because Jesus paid all of it. He paid for every bit of it. And there's nothing left now. The the debt is clear and clean, and you're saved by grace forever. Hallelujah. What a blessing. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses from all sin. So love the blood, plead the blood, pray the blood, and walk by faith, trusting the blood. For Jesus shed his blood for you and for me. And uh, John the Baptist said, here comes Jesus the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world by his blood. Hallelujah. He paid the price on Calvary's cross that we could live forever. The mandate in the law of God was that, that without the shedding of blood, God cannot forgive sin. And so Jesus went to that cross and shed his blood, and now God forgives everyone's sin. When he says, I believe in Jesus, they're not condemned. You're not condemned, Christian, and you never will be. But the Bible says in John, the third chapter, he that believeth on the Son of God is not condemned. But he that believeth not on the Son of God is condemned already. And he's condemned because he has not believed. <laughs> in the name of the Son of God. <clears throat> so it's important that we know these things and we stand by them and let God 
help us to see the importance of them. I thank God. I am grateful that God is with us in every way in all of our ways. <clears throat> He's directing and leading us. He's directing our path and leading us. And so praise the Lord. I thank God for that. I thank God for that. His way is the best way. Amen. Amen. Uh, Revelation 23 and 6 says, Surely goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. And you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Now, now there are times when you're going to have troubles and trials and darkness. Because that's part of the Christian life as well as it is part of the natural life. But those are in the natural life. Those who are living in the world without God, without Jesus. They have problems, but they don't have anyone to bear those problems for them and with them. They have difficulties and heartaches, but they don't have anyone to comfort them and show them the best way and that this is working out for good for them. But the Christian can face every day and say, praise God for this day. Whether I laugh or whether I weep, whether I go or whether I stay, whether I give or whether I receive, I'm going to rejoice in the Lord. I belong to God. And he is my life. So look to God and believe. Live in him and know that this is the right way, the best way. It's God's way. And it's your way. And you believe in Jesus. Praise the Lord. Oh, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days, all the days of my life. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy. Oh, a pilgrim was I in a wandering. From the far night of sin I did roam. When Jesus, the kind shepherd, found me, and now I am on my way home. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days, all the days of my life. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Let me pray for you. You that need the Lord, pray with me, if you will. Oh, pray with me. Pray and say, dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he rose again. And I believe he paid for all my sins. Praise the Lord. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me live for you. Amen. And after you pray that prayer, then find you a good church and worship God with his people. And the Lord will bless you all the way. And remember this, dear Christian, that God loves you very much. And I love you. Amen and amen.